that goes back to that shit where you can't, you be in your household and you be, you can't even talk to your parent or even have a, a funny laughing conversation with your parent because they so fucking mean or they so strict or they can't take a fucking joke or they just don't understand you. And you just forced to just be quiet and just eat your dinner and go to bed. And then you grow up and they wonder why you don't really, you know, mess with, with them like that. that. And it's because I, growing up, you ain't fuck with me like that. Shit. You ain't fuck with me when I was a kid. So now I'm an adult. Now you want me to be calling your damn phone and traveling to come see you like. What? Mm-hmm. It ain't a tick for tack type of thing. But at the same time. Different strokes for different folks, and everybody handle they and everybody handle they hurt, they pain, they feelings, how they handle it to keep them, bitch, sane. So handle your shit how you handle your shit, I guess. Now I will never be your hater. I'm your biggest fan. I hope it falls in a place just how you planned it. Life could put you in a pickle. Just make sure it's kosher. Lean on me like Bill Withers until you smell the roses. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. You see the clip. Listen, man. One of the reasons I got this painting behind me, with Brother Malcolm, is because. I be like, it's causing me to not cuss as much because I'm trying to be respectful. So I'm trying to choose my words, right? So this is what happens when kids grow up and become adults and they, and they think they should have been friends with their parents. They think stupidly. That was dumb. That was dumb. Like, you didn't mess with me when I was a kid. If they didn't mess with you when you was a kid, they would have. They, they probably would have gave you away. Like sometimes the logic of these adults thinking back to their traumas, it's, it's, it's really entitled and dumb. Oh, you didn't laugh at my joke, so I'm scarred for life. You had a pretty good life. If, that, if that's the, the, the gist of it. You didn't, you know, I just had to sit at my table and eat. Because you be a child and be in a child's place. Y'all not going to be friends. You gotta earn, like you gotta be in a, a functioning adult before you can get on a on a friendly level with your parent. They gonna always be your parent, period. And then some of y'all grow up, and then y'all have kids, and y'all want to be friends with y'all kids. And then at a certain point, your kid treats you like a friend, and then you try to turn around and go, "I'm your mother, I'm your father." No, you did no, 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 no. You would rather have a parent that's a that's a parent and not a friend in the, in the beginning. Than a parent that's a friend and not a parent in the beginning. Because I've seen people play that game and they realize they their parent was right about how they, they raised them and they were wrong about how they raised their kids. And they and they thought this little experiment was gonna work out the way they thought that they thought, which would have been good in the end, but it was terrible. You know, it was terrible. And on top of that, some of y'all just you know. Some of y'all got too comfortable, man. Some of y'all got too comfortable. Some of y'all family, y'all, some of y'all parents let y'all get too comfortable. Some of y'all family let y'all get too comfortable. Some of your friends, or your foolish friends told you lies about, or you thought their parents were cooler than yours because, you know, you saw some things with them that you didn't see with your parents. And now all of a sudden you thought your friend's relationship with your parent was different than it was with yours. With, with you and your parent and it, it wasn't they had rules they had boundaries they had discipline they had structure they had they had they were praised when they did good things they they you know they were they were uh scolded when they did bad things it was the same premise and then on top of that sometimes i think uh it's not just a lack of experience but a lack of of awareness of what's really going on in society because, you know, we had, like when I was younger, we had friends and we saw how we had friends whose parents were, you know, ideal. We had friends whose parents were not ideal. We had friends whose parents were smart. We had friends whose parents were stupid. We had friends whose parents were their friend and the ones that were their parents and, 
and, and, and the ones that cared and the ones that didn't care. So we got to see the whole gamut of um, what works and what doesn't and who was right and who was wrong, right? And even with our peers who are our friends, because some of our friends was out of pocket, you know, they might have good parents, but they're a terrible kid, you know, or, or they want to be, or they're friends with their parents, but but they know that their parent isn't actually parenting them, so they're trying to get over, and, and they wind up being a terrible person. It's like, yo, you, you can't keep doing that. You, you're going to be, this is not going to work out well. But, hey, man, I get to stay up all night. I get to go to parties. I get to do this, that, and the third. We had, you know, friends whose parents were drug addicts. And the drugs came before the kids. You know, alcoholics, same thing, right? Parents who was abusive, parents who, 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 who weren't disciplinarians at all. We, we've watched all of that. But this idea that, you know, somehow, you know, you gonna, we're going to grow up um, and you're grown now, but I don't mess with you because of something petty. That, that's, that says something more about you than it does your parent. That says you're just your brat. Because if 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 that if that is if you didn't you know you didn't be my friend when I was a kid or a teenager or you didn't laugh at my jokes you made me feel awkward because I was trying to do this but you wasn't feeling it so now now I'm not gonna talk to you as an adult I don't really rock with you like that as an adult because of that you didn't really like your, you didn't really like or love your parent in the first place that's what that was. You just find an excuse because that's a petty excuse. That's a petty reason. It's not like they did they did something. Um, they did something that was detrimental to you. Like I can have some stories about things. I have stories about family and, and parents that that like I say this. Uh, my grandmother passed years ago, and my grandmother was like. Um, when I die, I left some money for you for the down payment for your house. So you're going to have some money for the down payment of the house. She told me this before she died because she was sick and I was going to try to buy a house. I was, gonna, I was looking for a house anyways, but I was going to get a house to, to have her move in with me. Because so, it was better, it was good, better doctors where I, where I lived than where she was at. And she passed, came to the funeral, you know, I'm at the funeral, my, my father comes to me, your grandmother left some money. I was like, I, I, okay, okay. And I said, so, you know, when we get all this done with, I'm going I'm to get with you. I'm like, okay, you want me to come? He's like, no, nah, I'm good. No, you good. And then subsequently he got the money. She left him hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know, she just told me that's the down payment or whatever. He stole the money. He started an argument, rolled off, like, you know, talked crazy to me. So for me, I'm like, you know, I could, that's an issue, you know. I had uh, my, my mother when I was in college. My father was still paying child support the whole time I was in college. So I started college at 17, you know. I finished at 22. Uh, really 20, 21, 22. Like I just turned 22 or whatever. But um, at the time, I wound up being homeless. And I could I could use the money. I'm like, yo. And my grandmother's like, yo, call your mama. She's still getting child support. Use the child support money to help you, you know, get through get some tough times. Help you out a little extra money in your pocket. And I was like, what child support money? She's like, yeah, they st- yeah, your mama still get child support money. I was like, okay. All right, well, I'm going to call her. So I called, you know. Say, hey, my grandmother told me that you're still getting child support money. Like, this, I need that now. Like, I don't even know you was getting it the whole time I was in college. What's going on? And she was like, hey, that's my money. I earned it, hung up on me. I ain't talked to it for years, right, after that. So for me, that's on a completely different level. And there were things that happened after that and before that that were just, you know, egregious. But for me, I can see not effing with folks for that, for stuff like that. But the the table thing or the joke thing and not being friends thing, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. And sometimes, and when I say when I said earlier it was stupid, the reason I say stuff like that is stupid because sometimes people look to be offended and they and they, and they create offensive situations that don't exist. 
because really they're just they're hateful and they don't have much they don't have much to work with so they just make up stuff to work with and and and, and they 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 make a a, a mountain out of a molehill and then years will go by and then they realize it and it'll be too late. But that's just my opinion. You tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm gonna tell you. <laughs>